are the unique qualities of senior leader? Number one, leader must have a vision. A leader must be able to travel into an unexplored, unexplored path. He never travels, he actually never travels to an unexplored path, unexplored path. Leader must know how to manage success and failure. It's easy to manage the success, but how to manage the failure. Leader must have courage to take this job. Leader should have the ability in management. Every action of the leader should be transparent. Leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity. I have been discussing with the essential traits of great leaders with all people of Vienna, eminent in different areas, students from India and abroad. Apart from this, what is needed is the spirit of the youth. That is, I can do it, we can do it, and the any nation can do it. Our education institution has constantly are developing the leadership traits on the confidence to perform on the very youth of the nation. This quality leadership will certainly empower the people of the world with most potent, incisive approach to rural development. The Global Mission 2030, which I discussed, we emphasize yes, the realization of green, clean environment without pollution, having prosperity without poverty, peace without fear of war, and a happy place to live for all citizens of the nation of the world. What is needed is the participation of the multiple nations, multiple institutions, and people from around the world towards the common activities. My greetings and best wishes to all of you, friends. May God bless you. Uh, so, friends, any question, suggestion, or anything? For the next 10 minutes, question. Yes, sir. And first, hello? Sir, can you identify yourself? I am a Central Center for Policy and Dialogue. I am an economist, sir. Oh, you are an economist? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, since I am speaking first from the floor, I would like to join all others in registering our deep gratitude to you. What is the question, sir? For your inspiring speech, sir. Uh, sir, you have mentioned about, uh, about uh, the, the new vision that you see for the 21st century. Now, we operate in an economy where there are many scarce resources. Uh, and if we want to develop, for example, across states and across countries, there will be resources which will be of conflicting interest to various groups, various schools that you mentioned, and also various countries. So, for example, you have mentioned about how we can graduate the, the farmers into entrepreneurs. Now, they will need, for example, water. And water is a scarce resource, and there will be conflicting interest between states and countries with regard to exploitation and use of water. So, how do we reconcile when, when these conflicting interests crop up so that we can have a cooperative type of development? I personally believe water is going to be one of the important area for the source safe it will be a, a created somewhere and passed to the multiple nations and we have to share it. So today it is not the water shortage, it is the water management. Water management with the nation have to come together out the instead of pushing the water uh, to the sea and how do we properly manage it? That means the vision. That way I, was, I told you vision. We need leaders to create a vision so that they can look at not the five years time what they are uh, ruling in the nation. It's about the 20 years plan. So what will be the water manage? How to manage the water so that we can harness the water due to Okay. And for example, one simple thing I found one one village in India. There is always water shortage there. But when the satellite map indicated, there were 1,500 water bodies there. What you know? Not, not water bodies. Near the temple will be there. One, two, one. They are all not desinted for you. Once we desinted, once it desinted, even in your second year you get the rain, it gets filled up. The whole place is under water. This is again water management. What you have to do is water management. Every nation, every village can do that first water body, survey the water body. You have to use students to survey the water bodies, what stage is there. When you are desinted, 
then we have to see into the Abraham in Asha. That's much faster lower than what we are doing in the year. Next presentation on the Quran. This is, you have also mentioned about the Quran. Very good approach and book. One thing, sir, what is the Quran? Anything which we have to do, we have to spend in the local police. Say, the local, local, local police came in the local police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they are not strong, how strange is now? Nothing can be seen. So, do we have any salvation in our country? that our local police are most dependent on the central government, party, central government, the city, central government, all that. Uh, and there is also, sometimes the central government can supersede the elected local police. Do you have any subject to this thing? Well, I can give you India's uh, experience. We are having to sell the community. And there are 200,000 panchayats. Panchayats are governing three or four villages, the population of uh, uh, 15 to 20 percent people. Now the villages, uh, nowadays every five years this panchayat is being elected. And also they are not by a law, but a lot of delegation of powers, the economic transactions are all happening. I personally believe, I agree with you, the local empowering the local body is very really important. And uh, the local body, what happens? There are 40 something, you know. So they get into that type of problem. So we need a leader who can consider that project uh, very important rather than political party. Uh, so the development can take place. So the conflict starts from there. Then the relation between the district authority and the panchayat uh, board, board. So that also we have to smooth it. My personal experience, wherever the, the part got there, the village development is a priority compared to anything else. That village is a prosper. And wherever there is a connectivity of a, a district authority, like we call it district magistrate, district authority and the Pajai road, there also prosperity has come in. But I agree with you, there are conflicts are there, but we have to solve it. rural development. If we need rural development, the Pajai they have to be empowered and, uh, and also Report in such a way, they have good relation. Thank you very much. This is uh, Professor Shah Alam. Shah Alam, Chairman of the Commission of Bangladesh. All the constituents, sir, and she said, of the very request, more to the accident, accompanied by implementing model, Florida model. So, my request to you is, sir, is it this advocacy work perhaps? For this the region, you come and respect and love all the people, leaders. Do some, please, sir, we will listen to you and do some work for this, put the interest the region, and perhaps through the platform of Sita Peace Defense. That's why I have taken three models one Indian model, another Philippine model, another Bangladesh model. Definitely, I take your suggestion. To promote it, promote that, and not only idea, then sure that all happen. I wherever I go, I discuss in Bangladesh house. Okay? Now two ministers are here and uh, secretary is here and uh, I am marketing, I am marketing the sustainable system to the to the game market. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that guy, uh, yes, get up. What's your suggestion, Sam? Can you please explain that how Bangladesh can create a knowledge platform to achieve those sustainable development? And the second thing is, uh, as an uh, icon of knowledge and as an eminent scientist, do you think that nuclear bomb can jeopardize the peace of the world? Thank you, sir. I can uh, give you an example of what is called Pan African Leadership. Okay. When I was in the group, when I visited the African Parliament, it was represented by 22 nations. And at that time, I was the president. Uh, I studied Africa, I studied before going. Because uh, John's book, I addressed the Pan African Parliament. Then, after uh, all the uh, African countries, uh, 53 countries are arrested there, I felt that in, in India's core competence is the IT, information technology. So I was asking myself how we can work together 53 African nations in India. Then I offered to them 
that uh, we will have a plan of it in here and there. That is, we connect all the quantity of it at least, telemedicine, tele-education, and the governance we connect with it. So I offer certain finance uh, on behalf of India. And now it is mature. 48 nations be connected with the telemedicine and education to Indian institutions. So core competence they had was uh, the submarine uh, uh, that's uh, connectivity. There is an underwater connectivity they had. We use the underwater connectivity between the satellite technology and, uh, and also the uh, fiber optics together and we have connected. This is due to one single action of uh, the, that is how we can work the platform. The, I call, this I call it knowledge platform. You have some knowledge, the other countries have got knowledge, bring it together, 53 countries bring it together. Excuse me. We can have separate no, press conference for the You have given a, a detailed description how to overcome the discrepancies and make it a sustainable development in the region. What is the solution? Or what is the 